What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a reaction to the official Black Ops 3 Treyarch Revelations sneak peek trailer, teaser, whatever you want to call it. Now guys, it's the second reaction I've done in basically a row of something DLC4 related because I really have no ideas for zombies. But I do have a couple of videos coming out soon for zombies in a couple days. Anyways, guys, this is the Revelation sneak peek teaser. It came out while I was at my school orientation, so I'm releasing it or releasing my reaction now. Hope you enjoy, guys. Let's get into it. Is it going? It's going. Hold on. Every story has a beginning. Truth. Whoa. And an end. Rick Tolfin. Whoa! What is that? Revelations. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Did you see all the freaking Cthulhu mythology and the keepers and all that other stuff? Dude, I gotta break this down right now, guys. I'll see you in the breakdown. Let's do this. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my god, this shit's awesome. Every story has a beginning. Okay. Whoa. I have to analyze the shit out of this video. <laughs> I, oh, what was that? Hold on, Let me back it up a bit. I'm gonna do that the whole like pause, play, pause, play thing. Whoa, okay, that was Moon. I saw it. That was Moon. That was Shangri La. That was Ascension. That was. It looked like Origins. I'm not sure. That was, I think Moon. Uh, that was some Cabin of the Woods looking shit, so probably Verrucked, I don't know. Uh, that looked like Verrucked. That looked like Origins, possibly. So, those were just, like, past maps. Alright. Alright, let's look at this. Okay, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to stop the recording to go at full screen. Alright, so what we see here is, um, it kind of looks like the Origins trenches. We see a ladder on the side there, um... Looks like a radio there. It kind of—it's kind of weird. I don't know how what that looks like. Um, but let's just keep going here. Um, okay, so this kind of looks pretty cool. Uh, we see a gramophone. It looks like a gramophone, anyways. A staircase leading up. We can't really see anything up there. A blue glow, so that's possibly element one one five or just a blue light. And we, we see something in the background there to the far left, but I really don't see anything um, significant for over there. But that's basically it. That's all I see. Uh, we see right here it says regulation number 30, cell house, loud talking, shouting, whistling, singing, blood gargling, or other lunic essary noises are not uh, something permitted okay so i think they're actually in this an asylum or a jail cell right now because in um jail cells and asylums they don't like noises like that they actually permit it or like they don't permit that so that's possibly where they are right now an asylum or a jail cell kind of like a mob of the dead or verrucked in the background there it kind of looks like blood but that's just because like the lighting hold on let me back this up I really don't see what that is. Uh, that's weird. We see some blood on the wall right there, and it kind of looks like we're looking through some uh, some windows. So possibly that's like a window or something else. I really don't know. I see nothing else, really. Staircase, I think. And an end right there. Boom, boom, boom. 
you know, beatboxing, trying to be so close to toast. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God, I'm bad. Dude, that's actually a pretty cool, like, whooshing thing. I like, I like how they did that. Okay, so here we see a tree in the middle of nowhere. They're outside right now. So awesome, guys. We're getting outside. Um, in the background here, hold on. That kind of looks weird to me. Hold on. I need to, like, zoom my face into it because, you know, I can't really see it. It kind of looks like a eagle. And it kind of looks like we're standing in a teleporter. So maybe we're leaving a teleporter. Um, we see some trees, of course, and a blue light. So that's possibly from a building or something. We see Bowie knife in the background, if that even is the Bowie knife. Yes, that is the Bowie knife. I am 50% sure. We see some fire in the background. Nothing really particular. I don't see anything new that we haven't seen yet. But that's basically, that's, that's all I've seen. Hold on. Nope, that's nothing. I thought I saw a jug machine. That would have been weird. Okay, here we see a blue glow, some skulls. Uh, on top of this little rock thing. I really don't know what that is. But that's like, that, there's nothing new in there. Nothing really uh, particular to what I'm looking for. Now we see a little shrine of skulls and some bones. And that was a keeper skull on top of some broken bones. We're on top of some bones, period. This kind of looks like a formation of Element 115. I don't know why, but it kind of looks like it's formating. Kind of like how in Origins it formates. And in the background, we kind of see some red glows. Like what um, what we saw in the Rice and Draha with the boss fight. Like how that looked. That's kind of what it looks like in the background. I'm really not sure why it looks like that. But it kind of does look that, like that. Um, here we see some Apothecon, I think. Or is that just symbols? I think that's the symbols. I think that's a doorway. And this is kind of like a cool little thing. Right here, we see some skull and bones. Uh, come on. Keep going. More skull and bones. Nothing new. Now we see Takia. Or not Takia. I almost called him Takia. Nikolai. And right next to it says Generator Station 3. Generators are coming back, guys. Confirmed by the trailer. And in the background, we see some blue. It kind of looks like element 115. Or is that outside? Nope, that's outside. That's outside. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, then we see this little spinning thing. I have no idea what that is. I think that's a generator, actually. That kind of looks like it could be a generator for element 115, as you guys can see. Because it kind of looks like you go up to it, you activate it, and it does that spinning thing. You have to protect it. It kind of looks like it would be like that, kind of like how generators were in Origins. This is kind of how they presented them. We actually see some Apothecon language on there, so Milo and everybody else, if you are here watching this video and you can actually translate Apothecon language, stop the video where you actually saw Apothecon language, or I can just send you a message with it, and you can try to translate it. Uh, we see the generator again, which is awesome. I fucking love this thing. This thing looks sick. Um, and then we see another image, like, in Zetsubo, like, how it looked. I think this is just ZNS, because of that body bag right there, and the chains. Uh, and then we see this. This is actually Garod. This is what Garod looks like. Uh, this is a broken Doraish and Draha, because you guys can tell from the statues and those little symbols up there. Um, let's see what else. Uh, we can actually see... Him and I think either ZNS or the Giant or a mixture of those two because it kind of looks like it. Uh, this, I have no idea what this is. This may be just Revelations. Um, the top actually right there kind of recognized. It kind of looks like the Origins top in the spawn room. And in the middle were the statues of the four characters. And we also saw the mystery box light in the top if you didn't see that. It was a mystery box light. You can easily catch it. Here, I think he's actually on the giant, but I can't really say that's true. It's He's using the MR6, so if this is in Revelations, then the Revelations starting pistol is going to be the MR6, which sucks. I wanted a new one. I freaking hate the MR6. It's good for points, but not good for anything else. This kind of looks like Shangri-La, like somebody said on Twitter. I'll see if I can find the tweet and put it on screen, but I'm not sure if I can. 
But it kind of looks like Shingo Law. Maybe we're going back to past maps to grab some other things we need to actually save the world or something. I really don't know. But it kind of looks like Shingo Law or like a little area in Revelation that could be like Shingo Law. Here we kind of see like a uh, Gorod Krovi esque feel. Like, I don't know why it kind of looks like Gorod Krovi because of the flames behind him. But that could have easily been Revelations. We haven't seen it yet. So easily Revelations. And what else comes across the screen here? I think that's the end. Nope, that's not the end. Then we see Dem looking at this huge, giant blue sphere. I have no idea what that is. Maybe that's what happens when you finish all generators, run through five or one through six or one through seven or whatever. Um, I think that's what it is. I am not sure, guys. But it may be. It may be what I think it is. Uh, you can actually see the sky in this picture, so that means they're outside. All four characters are in front of it, in front of this thing. Maybe it's Easter egg related. I hope it is. That'd be really cool. Not actual in-game footage. <laughs> uh, you can see on the bottom right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Revelations. That's it, guys. That's everything this trailer has. So, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like on it. My name is Nozonics, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.